Okay, um, the radio. What we've actually got here is an Ethernet port um, here, and we've got various other um, uh, ports here, a reference, you've got an RX out, um, you've got an ADC in, a DAC out, um, you've also got an ALC port, and again, there's an expansion port there, which um, for various uh, bits and pieces, whether you need um, amplifier control or whatever, I think there's some options you can do with that. You've also got a PTT um, a socket and obviously the a CW key socket. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to connect this up. We're going to show you how to connect the and how to, to sort the um, IP address issues out so that you can actually get it to, to run pretty simply. Um, it's not as complicated as it sounds. It's just a, a few steps we have to follow um, and that's that. Okay, first things first. Okay, moving over. We can plug the power in. And what I've done is this Ethernet cable goes straight to the back of the PC. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect the radio straight to the back of the PC. We're not using a router, we're not using any kind of switch um, at all. So we're just going to connect that up. Okay, and the radio itself, once we turn it back on, okay, you'll see that the it will search for an IP address or an IP, um, um, yeah, it will look for an IP address. It's found one, it'll actually go go green. And it, the problem is it's probably found a very local um, private IP at the moment, um, which is no good to us. So what we've got to do is we've got to go now to the, the PC itself and actually set it up. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set the, um, the network card up now um, to actually work with the STL radio itself. So. What we need to do is go into the, to computer settings and we're going to go to the network and internet uh, settings tab and then we're going to come down to the ethernet tab and then change the adapter options we're going to open up the ethernet port um, settings or the ethernet card settings and we're going to go to properties and what we're looking for is this internet protocol version 4 tcp forward slash ipv4 um, and we're going to go to properties of that and what we're going to do is we're going to tell it how to talk to the STR radio so we're just going to click in here um, use the following IP address and that is fairly simple it's a 192 168 16 and then 50 now when we click OK it's going to complain about a subnet mask well that's fine it'll automatically fill that in um, 255, 255, 255, zero. Um, and we just say OK. And then we close our windows back. I'd leave this one open because you're going to come back to it again in a minute. Um, and then we're going to minimise it. OK, now you would have installed the software um, at, to this stage. Obviously, that's a fairly simple download and install. Um, just follow the instructions. Once you've done that, you get a little shortcut on the desktop. And we're just going to open that now. okay now at this stage it's pretty much dead in the water so what we need to do is we go to options and we're going to go to expert mode okay and we're going to do first of all we're going to search for the actual device all right okay no panic it's not found one okay so what we need to do is because we've changed some settings um, and we've plugged the the ethernet cable into the the radio we need to do a little restart with the radio so we're going to restart that okay and it should now talk to the computer happily and now when we do a search it, there it is okay now it's also it's, it's reporting that it's got a default um, IP address here of 192.168.16200 and that's fine you can use that if you want to and um, we're going to say in this case we're going to say use it for the minute um, at this stage it should actually work um, you may find it will actually work but we're going to change the IP address to sort of something that is um, 
more readily um, usable to us. In our case, um, I've already done um, a command IP config. Um, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And I found a free IP address or one that I know is actually free. Um, we're going to use that one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to here. Uh, so it's 192.168 and we're going to go 5, in, in my case it's 5, um, and then it is 4.3. Okay, and then I'm going to ask it to set the IP address. Now it's asking me do I want to change the IP address and the answer is yes. Okay, now at this stage it won't work. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the program for the minute. And we're going to go back to our settings folder. And we're going to change adapter out of settings, back to Ethernet, back to properties. And then we're going to go back to the Internet Protocol version 4. And we're going to say obtain the IP address automatically. We're just going to say OK, OK, close, close. And then now we can close that one. OK, so now we've changed the IP address on the radio. What we need to do is now we can connect the radio now to our standard switch or router. So what we need to do is, now this is directly from the back of the computer, that has now come out, and I'm going to plug, this goes into our switch at the top, and I'm going to plug that straight into our switch, like so, and I'm going to plug the computer back into the switch at the top. Okay, right. So we're also going to restart the radio just to make sure that we get everything set in stone. Lovely. And then we're just going to restart the software. It takes a little while to start, but well. Okay. Now if we go back to options, and now when we search for the radio, there it is there. We can actually see it quite clearly. That it's, uh, it's our we've changed the IP address um, on the CPU on the radio and we're just going to ask the software to use that now when we do STR info we should be able to interrogate the radio and it should come up with some information there you go look at that um, and it's now telling us the version number and the, all sorts of things there and it's just saying that most of it's okay um, and we're just going to say okay um, uh, okay again now we can start the software and the software itself is fairly easy if you go up to the top left hand side you'll see there's an on off button if you just click on that button the, the software will start it's asking to do a calibration test which is fine um, and we're just going to say yeah we'll use the default one and it says do you really want to write the default uh, calibration and we're going to say yes and that's it the radio is actually running what we do need is an antenna of course um, in this case I'm just going to use um, HFA2 um, or whatever one will work for us all right okay we'll make it a bit easier there you go we'll go with HA3 okay and there we have it the radio is actually working um, the radio itself is really quite easy to operate you can grip with the left mouse button move the actual um, the tuner along or you can actually just use the mouse wheel to go through all the various uh, bits and pieces. You can change the, um, the, the mode, USB, LSB, uh, CW, and again you'll see all the filtering is actually changing um, as you go. Um, hover over the, the, the tuner button then, you can use your, your mouse wheel to, to tune. Um, and if you go over the, the smaller digits, you'll see that it, it, it tunes in a much finer um, detail um, and that's pretty much it um, enjoy experimenting and playing with the software